Okay. We're good. Hi, Maz. Hi there. How are you, Oliver? Good. Okay. This is what I want to show you. It's uh, a GANS ball. It's a GANS reactor. It's inside a pyramid. The pyramid should be fiberglass, but this is uh, organite. So if anyone who's used organite in the first time ever, they would feel a change in the atmosphere. Well, it kind of, you kind of get used to it and it goes away, that feeling. But when I use this, the feeling is much more intense and it's continuous. And it's every time I switch it on. Uh, this is what you, you I find, believe. Yeah. Do you find it, it enhances of the effect of the GANs? Sorry, sorry. Go, go ahead. Ask a question. I can put my hand up. Do you find it enhances the effect of the GANs, Paul? It amplifies it? I can't tell you because I'm not... I'm not an, uh, I'm not a professor in this knowledge uh, in this technology, and my knowledge is very limited. So I've not done hundreds of uh, of these reactor balls. So this is you know this is the second one I've made, mm -hmm. and the one the first one was a kind of a failure because you know I, I used these these uh, Christmas tree uh, I used these Christmas tree uh, fillable. Yeah. Fillable balls, so you can see that. Mm -hmm. And all you've got to do is fill it up with GANs. Just pierce it with a, a needle, fill it up with GANs, and then glue it. Glue it with hot glue. Yeah. And then, yeah. and then I would put, obviously not this size, unless I'm making a huge pyramid. But I'm, I mean, uh, I've, I've, I've got yeah. small ones of these ones, so I'd uh, put it in a pyramid uh, mm. mold, and then uh, pour the fiberglass on it. The only issue you, you will have is the ball will want to come, keep yeah. coming to the, the resin. So you would have to have some sort of weight mm. pressing on the ball to keep the Gans ball at the bottom of the fiberglass resin. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, this, this kind of solves a lot of issues where people were getting um, w w with spillage of, of the Gans ball, of the liquid while it's spinning, because it's obviously it's, it, it, you can see it's, it's quite weak. It's quite weak plastic, mm -hmm. and now, now this Gans ball has got nowhere to escape. I mean, it's in a pyramid. Obviously, the pyramid is something special on its own. Uh, the, the the question is, uh, does a pyramid shape? Ha, does it, having a pyramid shape, uh, the Gans ball inside a pyramid shape, would that affect the plasmatic field? Also, uh, I mean. Uh, but what do you think, first of all? What do you think? Do, do you think that the, uh, this pyramid shape will have... I mean, we've got a Gans ball spinning around. We've, we've still got a Gans ball spinning around. Now, does this shape affect uh, the plasmatic field of the Gans ball? Well, I know that Mr. Kesh says that everything affects everything, and so even the shape, of course. So I imagine that the pyramid would be focusing the energies in a particular way. Okay, you say that, but then there's a question. Mm. And the question is, the, the, the plasma is, in, is a plasmatic state. The, yeah. pyramid, the pyramid is in a physical state, but this pyramid obviously is a special one because it, it produces Oregon. Now, mm. now, Oregon is probably plasma as, as well. Oregon, now, yeah. yeah. You know, there could be just different frequencies, spectrums of them, like in a copper, the, co the metal copper when you burn it. It, you know, if you burn it at certain and cold it, make it colder, you know, just burn it a little bit and it might turn into a blue or a green when it, when it gets cooled off yeah. or, or, or some beautiful color, but it's just different spectrums. I'm just wondering if this plasmatic field, once you actually spin this pyramid, it's, it, it's just much easier. Do you get my point? Yeah. Doing plasma ball in a, in a, in a fiberglass resin. Mm -hmm. Yes, seems a good idea. I have heard, I have heard the matter state things do shield the plasmatic energies. Like, so what the pouches you choose to put the plasma, the GANS patches in, if they're aluminium foil, they, they do apparently have a shielding effect. So, and... So when you say shielding, shielding. when you say shielding, uh, nothing can get in, or you mean just protecting the plasma? Out. Reduces the ability of the... Um, plasma fields to be radiated out. So matter state stuff does affect these fields. I, I understand. But you say that when they're actually spinning a Gans ball, 
Mm. Now, they, I've seen a test where they're putting the GANS ball inside um, a fish tank and they're spinning the GANS ball and there is water being thrown to the side of the, of the fish tank. Now, at that time, the plastic is not even recognised because, yeah. you know, it would just penetrate through the plastic. Because it's, it's, not, it's, it's not doing that. It's manifesting outside the plastic. It's field interactions outside the GANS ball, like between the GANS balls. And uh, I think that water is manifesting on the outside of the cage even. Interesting. It wasn't so even conversation. So you mean that by the spinning of the... See, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know a lot about cache uh, technology. I, I started from probably the video, not all the way number one. I started a bit late. And, and I wanted to start after seeing the number, I think, 30. I can't remember. It, uh, workshop, the video on the workshops. Mm. I, after I saw that video, it was so interesting that I didn't want to jump... I didn't want to go backwards, <laughs> you know, so I stuck watching from that way, but I probably missed all the reactor ones before that. Uh, so now that information that you gave me about the field going out, so basically when it goes out, it's projecting a field to become from plasma into physical state. Yeah, where, where the different, as I understand it, there was about 119 or something where these phenomena were being shown, the, the manifesting water. Sorry, I didn't understand that. 119... What, well, Knowledge Seeker Workshop 119. Okay. Approximately. It was, it was last year, about July. Um, okay. People were having that phenomena, and he explained us where the plasmatic fields are interacting between you've got a CUO ball and a CH3 ball, and they'll yeah. sometimes manifest water in matter state, where the, from the field interactions. Sorry, are you talking about the two balls, one inside the other, or one no, separate. right next to each other? Separate? Yeah. No, uh, no, that was another video, what you're talking yeah. about. But there's another, there's another one which I'm talking about. Right. And that one is just a one ball, which I think it has an internal ball as well. Mm. And I can't remember that, but it's easy to find. I mean, if you want to find it, you can find it yeah. on YouTube. Uh, oh. And while they were spinning that, it was actually throwing out water. And, and, you know, the, they, they try to work it out. Was it a hole? Is there a hole in the GANS ball? So what they did is, uh, you know, eventually I think what they talked about is putting a, a guy solved the issue by putting a GANS ball in a, a bucket of water or something like that. And when he couldn't see any bubbles coming out, he realized that, you know, it's not the GANS ball that was throwing out liquid. Yeah, it's making it. It's making it which could lead nicely onto your water dispenser. But finishing with the pyramid, what, what RPM are you spinning that at? I really can't tell you what RPM, but I mean, I... Well, I most should have a rating. I shopped around in our friend's uh, eBay shop from China. Yeah. <laughs> I found, found this is probably the one of the best... Uh, one of the, 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 the best uh, rechargeable... Uh, fans which you can plug into the USB there it is oh, right. yeah so yeah I've got a little cable here which I could plug it into and it will it will recharge that so uh, the the good thing about this is when you recharge this and you put it to the side and, and leave it working you shouldn't be touching it mm. because obviously it, it's creating its own uh, magnetic field a gravitational magnetic field and by you touching it you're going to disturb that so once you got that working it's got three speeds. I'll put it onto the top speed now. The battery's probably running out at the moment, but I mean... It, it's, it is, that's what I was asking about speeds. What speed is it? It seems quite fast, I'll be honest with you. I can't really tell you. It doesn't tell you. It, it, no, it... it uh, They've normally got a rating on the bottom. Uh... I don't really see that here, but I mean, anyone can go into the internet and then do a little research on these type of uh, laptop uh, uh, rechargeable fans. Okay. Uh, it's got a little light at the, at the side as well. Uh, right. It's got three, three different strengths and a recharging, uh, a recharging light. Uh, yeah. yeah, sorry, charging light is here. And, uh, it, you know, what I did was I got a hot knife and I cut the, the top off, just kept on putting it onto the, each uh, rib and mm -hmm. cut it off. Right. And then uh, uh, you got a flat fan. And what I did is I stuck the pyramid with a hot glue. 
So yeah. you you got to be really precise with it. Oh, to be honest with you, really so, hard to get in the middle, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you don't get that, <laughs> if you don't get that dead center, you're gonna yeah. have a you're gonna have a UFO moving about when it's vibrating. It's it's gonna yeah. move. This moves. This is quite centered, and it still moves about. It yeah. still moves. It moves about in in circles, and it it like it, it seems like it almost wants to take off. I mean, if it spins to much faster speeds. God knows what can happen, but yeah. it, it just is very strange on its own. The oh. feeling is amazing. <clears throat> the feeling of it, I wouldn't know, you know, what it would be like to spin a Gans, this type of Gans ball, this, this type of, uh, yeah. the, the type of Ganses that I've used, I wouldn't know what it would be like to spin it on its own. But I mean, this one here within the pyramid is absolutely amazing. Uh, but I mean, you don't have to do this pyramid thing. I mean, yeah. it could be a circle shape. As long as you've got the fiberglass, uh, as long as you've got the Gans ball, the sphere yeah. Yeah. inside, the, the, that, that is, that's, okay. try that out. And uh, I think it's going to solve the problem of leakage. Plus, it's going to be solid. It's going to be really hard. The only thing about doing it in Gans, uh, sorry, in, in, in uh, organized, Resin. Yeah, mm. it's going to be much more heavier, don't forget. So when, you're yeah, putting yeah. It in a, when you're putting it on a fan like this, yeah. it's going to push the motor. And, mm. and a lot of these motors won't work. Once you pressure it, once you yeah. put a little, it's quite heavy, but yeah. this motor can handle it and it handles it quite well. Yeah. yeah. It, it can handle it quite well. Great. I, mean, I, I don't have the space now, I, you know, but I mean, I could probably record this one. Anyway, you've got, you've got this, you've got this. Uh, got it. Great. Yeah, I can see got, that spinning. Yeah, you've got the like, idea. Well, so do you, do you want to tell us about your water dispenser? Well, I think you found a system which was actually making water. Okay, well, I thought you wanted to re-record for the dispenser or, or I can oh, go straight. Yes, we can do a separate one. Okay, so... so thank you for that one. We'll restart in a moment. <laughs> 